Rome is one of the most popular tourist cities in the world. According to statistics, this is the third in the ranking of popular tourist destinations in Europe. World-famous places like the Colosseum and the Vatican annually visited by more than 4 million people. Tourists attract here a large number of unique archaeological sites and art culture treasures, museums, beautiful parks and also shopping. The contribution of tourism to the economy of the city reaches 12%. According to tourists' opinion polls, three out of four respondents intend to return here, in Rome, capital of Italy, the eternal city. The historic center of the city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With wonderful palaces, thousand-year-old churches, grand romantic ruins, opulent monuments, ornate statues and graceful fountains, Rome has an immensely rich historical heritage and cosmopolitan atmosphere, making it one of Europe's and the world's most visited, famous, influential and beautiful capitals. Today, Rome has a growing nightlife scene and is also seen as a shopping heaven, being regarded as one of the fashion capitals of the world, some of Italy's oldest jewelry and clothing establishments were founded in the city. With so many sights and things to do, Rome can truly be classified a global city. Architecturally and culturally, Rome has some contrasts, you have areas with pompously huge majestic palaces, avenues and basilicas which are then surrounded by tiny alleyways, little churches and old houses, you may also find yourself walking from a grand palace and tree-lined elegant boulevard, into a small and cramped medieval-like street. The abbreviation, S, P, Q, R, short for the old motto of the Roman Republic Senatus Populus Romanus, the Senate and people of Rome, is ubiquitous in Rome, being also that of Rome City Council, a humorous variation is, Sono Pazzi Questi Romani, these Romans are crazy. For two weeks in August, many of Rome's inhabitants used to shut up shop and go on their own vacations. Today, however, things have changed, many shops and restaurants, especially those located in the historical center that cater to tourists, are open in summer. On the other hand, the ones located in residential areas do close. The temperature in the city at this time of year is not particularly pleasant. If you do travel to Rome at this time, you might see Chiuso Perferi, closed for holidays, signs. With your lover or family, Rome is the perfect place to spend a two to three days weekend, especially since the city can be easily visited on foot. Let's start this list of the must-see attractions with the Colosseum, located in the historic center, Centro Storico, in Italian. It's the most emblematic monument to visit in Rome. With a capacity of more than 50,000 spectators, it's the largest amphitheater in the Roman world. Quite much blood was shed in these arenas, where the famous gladiatorial combats, animals fights and Roman games were held, always followed by horrific deaths. The visit isn't free and you will probably have to wait for a few hours before getting there if you are going in high season. The ticket purchased at the Colosseum also includes access to the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill, I will talk about it just below, so it would be a shame to miss them, as the three touristic sites are linked together. The Forum was the center of the city and you can see ruins of ancient markets, administrative and religious buildings. However, you will not find any explanation on the site, so if you're interested in history, you should really opt for a guided tour. Not far from the Roman Forum, at the other end of Via Dei Fori Imperiali, you can find Piazza Venezia, one of Rome's main squares. From there, all the streets leads to Rome's main tourist attractions. This is where you can admire the monument to Victor Emmanuel E, also called Altare della Patria, or Vittoriano, a huge white marble building dedicated to the first king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel E. Next to the square, there is also the famous Trajan's Column, with bas-reliefs retracing the military conquests of the Emperor Trajan. Climb the broad staircase leading to the monument to Victor Emmanuel E and you will arrive on Capitol Square. Designed by Michelangelo himself, it was formerly the political and religious heart of Rome. The Pantheon is the best-preserved ancient building in Rome and another must-see touristic attraction to add to this list. Originally dedicated to all mythology divinities, it became a Christian church in the 7th century. Don't hesitate to enter, the visit is free of charge, which is rare enough to mention it. Inside, admire the immense dome in the oculus, the opening in the dome, giving the place a unique lighting. 
In the Pantheon, you can also see the tombs of Raphael, the famous artist, and Victor Emmanuel E., first king of Italy, as mentioned above when I talked about the beautiful building dedicated to him on Piazza Venezia, and if you want to get more historical information, you should get an audio guide. Here is my selection of the best hotels in Rome Historical Center Piazza del Gesù, luxury suites, from 180 euros housed in a renovated 16th century building, the Hotel Piazza del Gesù, luxury suites is elegant, comfortable and relatively inexpensive for the area. The rooms have modern furniture and are equipped with everything you need for your comfort, including soundproof windows, a must when you stay in the heart of the city center. Some of the rooms overlook the city. The hotel is ideally located in an area with many typical restaurants, only 600 meters from Piazza Navona and 5 minutes walk from the Pantheon. If you're looking for where to stay in Rome for two or three days and in the city center, the Piazza del Gesù is simply the perfect hotel. Hotel Caravita. From 190 euros if you are wondering where to stay in Rome as a first-time visitor who wants to visit everything on foot, I recommend you the Hotel Caravita. Housed in a 15th century building, elegant and carefully decorated, the hotel is ideally located, 300 meters from Trevi Fountain 5 minutes from the Pantheon and only 15 minutes from the Colosseum. The staff is amazing and will do everything to ensure you have a memorable stay. Rooms have modern furniture and all the services you need to enjoy your time at the hotel, Wi-Fi, TV, toiletries. Some rooms even have a private jacuzzi. Guests also have free access to the hotel's outdoor relaxation area, including a spa. The Caravita Hotel is my favorite in Rome city center for its amazing value for money. HT6 Hotel Roma, from 260 euros if you have a big budget, I defy nightly recommend you this four-star hotel near the Campo de Fiori Square. The rooms, in Art Nouveau style, are beautiful and feature modern and comfortable equipment, including a spa and hammam for the most luxurious of them. A copious buffet breakfast made of fresh products is included in the price. Perfect to give you strength to walk around Rome historical center for the day. The hotel is located in the Pantheon district, only 700 meters away from the Pantheon itself. This is my recommendation for a luxury stay in Rome historical center. Without a doubt, one of the best places to stay in Rome as a tourist. Where to stay in ancient Rome? Il Tempio della Capital, from 110 euros located in the Jewish ghetto, 100 meters from the Great Synagogue of Rome, 500 meters from the Palazzo Venezia and 600 meters from Piazza Venezia, this guesthouse is a great choice for your stay in Rome. It's located in a quiet place, but still very close to everything you will visit. Another great thing. You can rent bicycles there, it's ideal for a stroll in the heart of the ancient Rome you're wondering where to stay in Rome with family? This is in my opinion the best choice for your family if you want to stay in a quiet and excellent location, at a relatively affordable price. This self-proclaimed restaurant and micro-bakery is oh so much more. Marigold is hard work, dream chasing and living by Danish implant Sophie Wokner and her Calabrian husband Domenico Cortese. He is a passionate cook, she a baker and so comes together with the perfect mix for Rome's latest trendsetter in Rome's former industrial heart of Ostiens. Rome's foodie obsessed were until recently treated by Sophie and Domenico at their outstanding pop-up dinners under the guise of the eatery but now this permanent locale puts on a pretty show with a counter full of decadent baked goods, think cinnamon rolls, carrot cake with cream cheese frosting and chocolate brownie cheesecake, breakfast, brunch and weekend dinners. At breakfast and brunch, there's avocado on rye with poached eggs and at dinner, Domenico shows off with his homemade pasta-filled creations. It really feels like you're welcomed not only into their home but into their little dream come reality. Open for breakfast and lunch Tuesday to Friday, brunch on weekends and dinner on Friday and Saturday. Metro. Pyramide. Morable is perched on the seventh floor of the luxurious Hotel Splendide Royal and is home to one of the most elegant terraces in Rome. Unobstructed views of everything from the Pantheon to the Dome of St. Peter's Basilica can be enjoyed from the roof garden which acts as a magical panoramic space all year round. Executive chef Stefano Marzetti and food and beverage director Luca Costanzi run the show here and what a delightful show it is. Their impressive ending selection of Italian and international labels, over 700 to be exact, 
and the refined menu with gourmet touches will delight even the fussiest of fine diners. In addition to the a la carte menu, there are three tasting menus to choose from, including Rome's current complete gluten-free degustation consisting of five delectable courses. The classic décor with the live piano gives it an old-world cabaret feel. One thing's for sure, the meal, the staff and lively atmosphere will more than impress. The view will leave you speechless. Metro. Barberini. Ramona Anello and Riccardo Di Giacinto are no strangers to the high-end restaurant sector in Rome. The owners of Ristorante Al Oro, with one star in the 2017 Michelin Guide, and their boutique hotel the H. All Taylor Suite have made their gourmet presence felt on the top floor of the hottest department store address in town, the Rinocente on Via del Tritone. Together with the Up Sunset Bar and Mediterraneo, they've taken over the 6th and 7th floor with a fine contemporary dining and bar space in line with Rome's latest minimalist design wave. As the name suggests, the menu here has a focus on Italian and Mediterranean produce with some ethnic influences including Moroccan and Greek including a moussaka with chanina rag and an Iberian pork kebab on the entree list. Pasta dishes include gnocchi with salt cod and chicory and delicious mezzaluna pasta filled with tagine cooked lamb, lemon and sage. There are many seafood options throughout the courses and vegetarian dishes too. Leave room for dessert and try Di Giacinto's famous variations of the Maritazzo, the sweet bun that speaks nostalgically to Romans. The apple strudel version is to die for. Open daily 11 a.m. through to 11 p.m. Metro. Spagna located in the heart of Rome's Trastevere, an area full of casual trotterias and bars, Glass Hosteria stands out as a contemporary gem. With a Michelin star, Christina Bowerman and her team deliver fine dining in a sophisticated, yet relaxed atmosphere. The fine dining menu is inventive as modern as the interiors and the wine cellar is as impressive as one would expect of an establishment of this caliber. With an international and local crowd, the menu changes seasonally and a degustation experience is the best way to sample the outstanding selection. Tram. 8. Bus. 23. H. If you like these video, please hit the subscription button and share this video with your friends. We will be grateful for that.